Hi, my name is Dr. Arnold, and today we're going to be talking about how much dentists in the UK earn. One question that I'm asked uh, many times by aspiring dentists um, is how much do dentists actually earn? Um, so many numbers that are banded out there um, on the internet, but what are some real numbers to um, what dentists actually earn? And in this video, we're going to be getting into all of that. One thing to say before we get into it is the fact that um, dentist pay is very varied. Um, you get some dentists who are self-employed. You get some dentists um, who are employed or salaried, uh, mainly working within um, the NHS. So even there, you've got a big difference in how much um, dentists are earning. Even for dentists that are, let's say, self-employed, some of them may have a large proportion of their practicing or clinic time um, covering NHS treatments. Some may be doing maybe 50% NHS, 50% private work. Um, even with private work, is it um, pay-as-you-go private work or is it patients on a plan, um, like a DEN plan? So there's so much variation um, in how dentists get paid. But what I'm going to do is to talk through um, some average values and um, some values um, to do with what I have personally um, earned as a dentist um, since I was a foundation dentist to being an associate dentist. So the easiest one to start off is when you start your dental foundation training year. After you've graduated and qualified as a dentist, the majority um, of young dentists will start off doing a dental foundation training year. And it's a year where you're supervised um, by a senior dentist who will watch um, over you and help you out as and when you need. Now in this year, um, all the foundation dentists are pretty much getting paid the same amount. So in the year 2020 to 2021, Currently, the official number for salary for a dental foundation trainee is £32,796, which is not that much different to when I um, worked as a um, foundation um, training dentist in 2017. Um, similar um, salary. It incrementally changes year by year. Let's just break that down into how that might look um, in a month. So I've got this example here where in a month, you may get paid £2,613. £243.01 p would go towards your NHS contributions. Um, £282.20 p would go towards your income tax. And for your national insurance, £231.96 pence may be deducted, um, leaving you with a net pay of £1,855.83 p. So roughly that will be very similar month on month for many dental foundation dentists, not too much change there. Because you're salaried, um, there's not much you can do to change the amount um, that you're earning uh, because everyone in the, in the country is earning the same as a dental foundation um, trainee. The differences may come if you have two plans for your student finance. So student finance, if you've done a previous degree, um, you may have been on plan one. And if you did dentistry as your second degree, you may be on plan two. So you may have um, more contribution towards student finance as opposed to someone who just took out student finance for the one degree, the dental degree. So that's where there may be some changes. Once you've finished working as a dental foundation trainee, um, you'll now be looking to either move on to a dental core trainee post, these are usually in the hospitals, or working as an associate on the high street as a general dentist. Now, most people end up working as an associate at a general dental practice. Um, that's the route that I took. The one thing to be aware about is the fact that because you're finishing in August, um, you'll be working as a self-employed associate in general practice 
from September um, to March, so the financial um, year, um, which runs to the end of end of March. So that means that um, seven months um, of your income um, is recorded um, as a self-employed dentist rather than the 12 months if you're working there from April um, to the end of March. So just bear that in mind. So the average value um, or the average amount, the average earnings that Morrison Co. accountants um, put for dentists that are now self-employed after having done their foundation year in that space from September to the end of March, um, you would have earned about £32,000. Um, for myself, um, it was a bit higher than that. I managed to earn £49,000 between September um, to the end of March. Um, so that's something to be aware of that those are the figures um, you can expect to be earning um, after you've come out of your foundation year and you're working as a general dentist. This will, this can vary because different people will have different contracts, um, UDA values, um, contract values. That's something we can get into in another video if you're interested about that and how that works. Year two as an associate, you're a bit more confident. Um, you're able to see more patients. You're doing more complex treatment, maybe more private treatment. Um, it means that you'll be earning uh, more than you did in your um, seven months as an associate. Um, so the average that Morris & Co. save for a year two associate, so £62,000 is the average um, for associates that are on their second year. Um, now, for myself, um, this was very different. Um, I was fortunate to get into a practice where I was able to um, grow quite quickly. Um, so for myself, uh, my actual turnover for my second year as an associate was 124,000. Um, now, once the accounting is done, the actual net profit is 94,000, or in this case, um, for myself. And that also broke down, so tax-wise, you're looking at about 26,000 pounds that went to tax. You're looking at maybe 5,400 that went to my student loans and national insurance. You're looking at about 4,700 pounds that went to national insurance um, and any other costs that I might have um, incurred over the year. Um, but for that year, um, my actual turnover was 124,000 and the net profit was 94,000. Very different there when you look at the average of um, 62,000 um, from Morrison Go. And this is because this becomes dependent on you as an individual, um, the practice that you end up at, the type of contract you've got at that practice, uh, how much NHS work are you doing, how much private work are you doing, are you on the DEN plan as well, are you earning from the plan patients? So many variables. Are you working five days a week? Are you working three days a week? Um, so that all starts to come into it. And different dentists will work different times. Some dentists may work a nine to five type of um, schedule, whereas some dentists may work till late into the evening. So again, so many variables. Um, that's why it's hard to say exactly what you would earn as a dentist. Well, I hope that this video has shed some light, um, helped you to understand a little bit more about um, how much dentists earn and how it can be so varied. Um, if there are any other videos um, to do with finances as a dentist that you want me to cover, um, put the questions or the comments down below and I'll be sure to, to look at them and think about making more content that will help you as aspiring dentists or dental students um, make your decisions and plan better for your futures. See you guys in the next video.